Shalom, shalom. My name is Joseph. Today, I'm making the fifth video to explain this book. You can download this book from the, this website or from the video descriptions. Today's topic is resistance. It is easier for the person who made something to fix it when something goes wrong. Since they are the one who made it, when something is broken, they just repress it because they have the knowledge, material and the power to do that. They can fix it easily. It is more easier for God who made people to fix them when something goes wrong. That's why he sent his son to save us. Unfortunately, not everyone is going to accept it. Many people have resisted. There are many stories and excuses on how Jesus is not the Son of God and the Savior of the world. In the book of John, chapter 1, verse 10 to 13, the Bible says, He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave them the right to become the children of God to those who believed in his name, who were born not of blood, not of the, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Do you know how sin started? It started in a disobedience. So people still have resistance. They are resisting God. He wants to save them, but they are resisting. It is written in the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 19. It says, for as by one man is disobedience, many were made sinners. So also by one man is obedience, many will be made righteous. In this verse, the first person is Adam, the second person is Jesus. Adam disobeyed God and he broke relationship between him and God. So he was separated from God because of disobedience. You know, even in the family, parents are going to struggle with the disobedient children. Disobedience separates people. So now you can see, sin started in the disobedience. If you can just remove that disobedience, people will submit to God and get saved. Humanity is the origin behavior of human beings. How good we treat other people. Sin is the opposite, is misbehavior. How bad we treat other people. If we are not willing to surrender and submit our heart to Jesus, we will not be saved. In the book of Matthew, Jesus spoke in the parable comparing human beings with the seed planted in the world. He said some seeds were good and others were bad. And he also said that there is a day to harvest. During the harvest, you will know that some fruit they are good and also others are corrupted or they are rotten. Some are like these ones and the others are like these ones. Some people produce good fruit, which is a fruit of spirit, and other people produce bad fruit the last of flesh or cruelty. People with the last of flesh are compared to the fruitless people. With bad quality fruit, fruitless people also will be thrown away. The reason why we eat apple is that sweetness that we follow in the fruit. So if there is no longer this sweetness, the fruit will taste bad, we're not gonna eat it. It may be corrupt or rotten. Kind and compassionate person has the sweet heart. We follow that sweetness also to make them our friends, to associate with them. So they are the good people. If they don't have that sweetness, we don't associate with them. As rotten crops are thrown away, the fruitless people will also be thrown away. They will not be in the kingdom of God when he comes to harvest. But God is merciful. He even wants to save this fruitless one to restore their lives. But people are resisting. Bible say they love darkness more than light. In the book of John chapter 3 verse 16, the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The Bible also say in the John chapter 3 verse 18, He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. 
So those who do not believe in him, they are the one who resisting. They still have disobedience in their heart. Mm -hmm.